So let's look at the dorsal column tract. This is an ascending tract and the function is for pressure, vibration, touch, and proprioception, okay? So there are three order neurons here. And what I want you to notice is first, the first order neurons are going to come from either the Golgi tendon or the muscle fibers and basically go inside the spinal cord. In the lumbar spinal cord, you see here the first orange neuron goes all the way up here and it's going to terminate right here at the fasciculus gracilis, all right? That's coming from the lower portion of the body. And the, also the first order neuron coming from the cervical spinal cord, either from the hand, if somebody touches your hand and you can feel the pressure of somebody shaking your hand, they are gonna go inside the spinal cord and they're gonna bypass the pseudo unipolar cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglion. And when they enter the spinal cord, they're gonna terminate at the fasciculus cuneatus. Now the second order neuron are now gonna pick it up and they're gonna cross over in the medulla and then it's called decussation. Okay, that's a fancy word for it. Go straight into the midbrain and then they're gonna terminate right here at the VPL, the ventral posterior lateral portion of the thalamus. And then you have the upper motor neurons that's gonna go up into the postcentral gyrus which goes into the sensory cortex to be able to interpret that information that, hey, listen, you've been touched or you felt some vibration or some fine touch or proprioception. So this is the dorsal column pathway. Now, if you have a lesion right on the opposite side, okay, of the, uh, once you, you know, before you decussate, okay, so if, if you actually get a, a lesion right on the uh, ipsilateral side, you're going to have ipsilateral loss of pressure vibration. If you have a lesion on the opposite side, you're gonna have contralateral loss of pressure, vibration, touch, and proprioception.